our trailer. Um, we talk about that we live full time in an RV, but we haven't shown our RV. So we thought today we would focus on just giving a tour, a quick tour of our RV, the things, some of the things that we really like about it and maybe a couple things that we don't. Uh, we purchased a 2022 Blackstone 250 RDS Titanium manufactured by Outdoors RV. In the mountains of Oregon. In the mountains of Oregon. Mm -hmm. Say that five times fast. Uh, we ordered it in January of 2022, 21, January 2022. 2021 and we received it in September of 2021. We've owned it for a year now. Uh, so I've been full timing since last September. Uh, we have officially, both of us, moved in full time since July. And so we thought we'd give a tour of it. Uh, it's 250 square feet. It is 32 feet and four inches from bumper to hitch. And originally it slept six, but we removed a couch that had a pull-out sofa and replaced it with our Lazy Boy sofa because the one that it came with was horrible. So the dinette, a um, couple of things that we really, really like about it is... The massive um, window. The massive window, which I will show a picture of, of um, the view out the window when it's not dark out, not much of a view tonight. Uh, this table is great. It is really, really large. Uh, this table, he can have a laptop, I can have a laptop, and there's still plenty of room on the table for clutter. <laughs> the seats are nice by design. Uh, one issue that we would have with it, if you are a weekender or camping a few weeks out of the year, you probably wouldn't notice it, but for us, these seats, although they're memory foam, they don't have much structure to them under the memory foam. And when you've sat in them for a while, they collapse and they really hurt your hips when you're in your 50s. And so that is something that we'll be looking to upgrade is these cushions on the bottom. Get a dense foam. Uh, this folds down to quite a long bed. It's seven feet long. Um, my parents have slept here and they've said it's quite comfortable. And also with the dinette is we have huge drawers on either side which is awesome um, our electronics all sit in one and then that's kind of my office stuff on the other side uh, in the entryway there's a really great cupboard uh, to the left there that that is where all of our cleaning products and our dog debris best word for it, dog debris sits it's our Berkey water filter um, they say that you can put pond water through it and drink it safely. I don't want to test that theory, but we do find it does help take out things like chlorine and all that and, and bad tasting water. It helps a lot. Uh, it's very expensive to replace the filters, but they say that you get 3,000 liters, liters up to 3,000. One or out of the dual filters in it, but it also depends on how bad the water is that right. you're running through it. One of the things that really sold us on this floor plan, especially for me, Curtis is not anyone who cooks in the kitchen, but I like to cook. Well, maybe not as much as I used to, but I do want surface space. Um, this is an unusual thing in an RV is to have this big of a workspace. Um, to the left of the stove is a huge counter, uh, which currently houses our ice maker. But when I need to prep stuff, this is a great counter. Uh, it also has lots of cupboard space and so there's a huge cupboard down here which is where my electric appliances sit. Uh, it has a good size stove, three burner stove top, three great drawers here. Uh, so one of the things I bought um, from Amazon are these handy dandy bamboo spring loaded dividers. and. Because these drawers are narrow, they don't fit standard uh, trays. Like you can't go typically just, yeah, you can't go into Ikea and just get a tray. So these bamboo dividers have been awesome, allowing way more usage of the space. Uh, Flip Up Island, I had Curtis take this off 
I had her off for what about seven months? Oh, well, probably at least that. Yeah, and then I had him put back on because when I go to do dishes, it's very much a pain if I don't have uh, room here to do dishes from right to left. Farmhouse sink. I always wanted one. My new theory on it is they're not so grand. Uh, in an RV, which we do lots of dry camping at provincial parks, so you're always trying to conserve water. These things are huge. And so even to get like two inches of water in the bottom to do dishes in it, it just uses way too much water. So I had to buy, I bought two of these. I generally only use the one. Uh, so I wash my dishes and then put them in the rack, the drying rack here. Uh, I got rid of the covers that were on the sink, the solid countertop cutouts that go in here. Those things, I don't know how many times I found them not locked in when we arrived to where we were going. Plus, when you do take them out, they're heavy and they're horrible to store. So I just got rid of those. Uh, one thing to be aware of with the Outdoors RV faucets, really watch for these things spinning around when you're traveling and for this handle to open up. I put an elastic on it now so that it Make sure open. your pump's off when you travel. Make sure your pump is off because let me tell you what a disaster that would be is if this accidentally comes open from a bumpy road and... Especially you if you're to. packing 70 gallons of water with you. Exactly. And that's one nice thing about Outdoors RV is they say you can travel with your tanks full, which most RVs read your manuals. Most of them don't allow that, which... Yeah. That was really important to us, especially when we do stuff like dry camping in provincial parks. We want to go with full water. So the electric fireplace is great. Uh, this is our heat source a lot of times it, um, in the spring and the fall because you don't really need to run the furnace, but it's just enough to take the chill off. It's been quite nice. Uh, the Furion <laughs> stereo system. I despise this thing. It is, I'm sorry Furion, but it is the biggest piece of junk ever. It is not easy to use. It is not intuitive. You have to pull out your manual to figure out how to do things and stereo should not be like that. They should just be intuitive. You should naturally be able to figure out how to use them. The other lovely thing is the remote that comes for people that need better than 2020 vision. Yeah. I can't even read it with my glasses on. No, and if you're sitting on the couch with these lights off, you can't, all the writing is in black. But it has a cool feature. If you do the volume on the remote for the stereo, it turns the fireplace off. Yes, it is on the same frequency as the remote, the auto, the control panel here. And we couldn't figure out why the fern or why the fireplace kept turning off. And it was because we were touching the volume on this remote. We don't use that thing anymore. Besides when we leave with the dogs inside to play some radio through there. Yeah, I always leave the radio playing when I leave the dogs so they can't hear everything outside. So that is definitely a negative for Outdoors RV. But, uh, lots of storage. But I'll show you in, in the kitchen cupboards as well. Lots of storage, but all their cupboards are super, super tall. And so I bought these from Amazon. I have them in the other cupboards as well. Um, without putting in some kind of shelving system in them. It's not really useful storage because it's so tall that you really can't stack stuff up safely. Or if you do stack it up and then you get to where you are traveling to, you open this door, you'll have a landslide on you. So in, as I was saying, in that cupboard, um, same shelves from Amazon. They're just, uh, I think they're bamboo shelves with, they come with a little wire feet or metal feet and that allow me to organize everything. These, the, I'm sure lots of people have seen these. You put them in between your plates and your bowls and that, and it stops everything from sliding. For travel days. I can't stand the way they look, but they're very handy. And I used to take them out when I got to where I was going, but then that just created a whole lot of work for pack up. This cupboard is the same thing. I've added the shelves. It's a catch-all cupboard for coffee maker and all those things. So the pantry is awesome. I do think it's a little weird that it's in the slide. Um, it's heavy. It's heavy and it's, if you think about all your canned goods or all the stuff that you put in a pantry, most of it's 
pretty heavy items and it's on the right side in a slide. The couch, I don't think would come anywhere near the weight that is in here. And so you have a lot of weight that lops sides a slide, which is kind of weird. The other weird thing is that when I'm cooking and I'm coming in and out of the pantry and Curtis is sitting here watching TV here, I'm walking in front of him all the time. I do realize that with limited space, it's kind of like, where do you put the pantry? I, I understand why it's here. I just don't think it's very practical. But it is huge. That is one thing I will say. The pantry is gargantuan. And it's got a big drawer at the bottom too. Yeah, a big drawer in the bottom. That's where I keep my uh, kitchen linens and our crib board so I can beat Curtis. Yeah, which happens about 70-80% of the time. I like crib. Mm -hmm. I can win. Um, but yeah, it's a great it's a great space. And I bought all these bins for organizing and some wire shelves mm -hmm. and those things. To the bins are from Costco, time. right? Uh, yeah, the bins are from Costco. So we took our trailer out to Edwards RV or Edwards Garage, I guess is its proper name. Yeah. Um, that's where we bought our trailer in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta. And they were excellent. We had a huge laundry list of warranty stuff and they didn't blink an eye and just tackled it, which I didn't know that's not everyone's experience. Uh, Edwards Garage, amazing. And Dale, the salesman that we dealt with there, was phenomenal. And Don, the head of service, phenomenal. Uh, we just can't praise them enough. They were amazing to deal with, and we highly recommend them. Um, One thing Don did. But Don did something lovely when uh, my trailer was out for all the warranty work. He installed a 12 volt fridge. And so this no longer runs on gas, it was just 12 volt. I gained two cubic feet, which Curtis tells me. It's 25% because 25 eight to 25. 25% more, more space. And I love it because I've thrown away so much food in the last year from things um, freezing and then thawing. And, and just, I ended up throwing away all my meat that was in the freezer in the old fridge because it had thawed and I didn't realize it had thawed and I went to cook up steaks and they were, had gone bad. So I threw away I've thrown away hundreds and hundreds of dollars of groceries. So I'm so thankful for this fridge because it is a true compressor fridge, fridge and it just runs like your normal residential fridge. So but meant for an RV. Meant for an RV. You don't have to, to be level. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of advantages. It is an expensive upgrade, but Debbie swears it's worth every penny. It was worth every penny. Uh, this is our handy dandy dehumidifier from, we bought it from Amazon. Um, Surprise, Just, surprise. Yeah, I I guess it's important to, I hate shopping. I hate going into stores. I hate clothes shopping. I hate everything. That's why I buy so many of my clothes from Costco because I know my size and I just walk in and grab what I want. And Mark's um, is a clothing store here in BC that I use them a lot too because I know exactly my size. I can just go in and grab it. And if it doesn't come from Costco or Mark's, it typically is going to come from Amazon because I can just sit and shop and it goes to my mailbox and I don't have to go into a store, which is glorious for me. So a dehumidifier, um, I think people are probably more aware of these than what they were previously, but if you're finding that you're really cold in cool temperatures, a lot of times it's to do with the humidity in your trailer. And if you run a dehumidifier, you can run your thermostat at the same temp and you'll feel way warmer because you've removed the humidity. The other thing is, is that when it's warm, if you run your dehumidifier, you'll be shocked to find out how humid it actually is in your trailer. Still. Yeah. And when you get rid of that humidity, it removes that feeling of stickiness on mm -hmm. your skin. Humidity is an enemy when it comes to trailers. That's right. So a dehumidifier is, for us... We would never be in an RV without a dehumidifier. They just, they solve a lot of issues, whether it's temperature or moisture in the ceiling, whatever it is, like we, we always have it going. One of the things when we looked at floor plans is we saw lots of floor plans that had walk through bathrooms. And I was just absolutely opposed to that. I did not want to walk through a bathroom. I thought, ooh, gross. You know, Curtis is in the washroom or I'm in the washroom and you can't get through to the bedroom. Um, after owning this RV and being in here full time, and usually it is just the two of us, I would be totally open to a walkthrough bathroom. 
I would want a toilet stall in that walkthrough bathroom. But the challenge is, is this is a lot of wasted square footage in your hallway that could be eaten up with the bathroom, which would make your bathroom way more. Give you, give you some elbow room. Yes, like we can't be in the bathroom at the same time brushing our teeth. That's like, forget it, that's never gonna happen. Which leads to the bathroom. Which will be tough to film. Yes. And we'll do our best to film at a distance. So this is our bathroom and it is tight. Um, this, our trailer, as I said, is a titanium series. And with the titanium series with Outdoors RV, you get the vanity mirror with the light and the stainless steel sink, solid surface countertops um, in the bathroom, the kitchen and in the bedroom on either side. Yeah. And the solid older Doors. It's easy to read the description and think it's solid wood cabinetry. It is not. As Curtis said, it is just solid wood doors. Like the doors, these are solid wood. This is your typical. And the drawers, fronts themselves, aren't solid. No. Yeah, it's just the doors only. Yeah, so we we were disappointed with that. We were surprised. Um, but we misread it and misunderstood it. So, it was on us for not reading it properly. Yeah. But. We had also met other people that own these trailers that thought the same thing yes. and were like, oh, yeah. they were surprised as well. So this bathroom, the 250 RDS has a, a decent layout. The toilet is on an angle and the vanity is quite spacious. You have two cupboards, same thing. There are tall shelves. I just added that wood shelf in today and removed the toilet paper holder, which hung up in here which was just a waste of space. Plus you would get toilet paper fibers filling up and creating dust in the cupboard, which was gross if you put your face cloths in there. Huge, huge uh, medicine cabinet. It's in on, a, in on the corner and it has tons it's of space. It's all clean and organized. Yes. It doesn't always look like that. We added that towel rack too. That's we added quite this nice. towel rack. This is from Amazon as well. These are, these are big towels from Costco and it holds, I can squish five of them in there. We weren't thrilled about this shower. Um, so Curtis finds this shower rather challenging. I think if you're a T-Rex with short arms, you'd be okay. But I've learned to shower in it. But initially you banged your elbows oh, steady. Terrible. And the other thing too that I really hated, was surprised, this is just cheap RV plastic junk. So that was very disappointing. And this will get upgraded in the future for a custom size. So there is this space here and that space there to be able to make a custom base and probably a shower curtain with some kind of a solid surface wall. Right. So that's a bad, bad video. So sorry, okay. small space. Okay. Mm. Uh, one of the other things is that base in that shower is it just flexes. Even though we've looked, some some people had theirs manufactured without proper supports underneath, and there was one video of a person who actually had their foot go through and break. We haven't had that, and we looked, and it is properly supported underneath, but it's just not. It's, it's oh. not solid, and so even me, I'm not a lightweight, but I'm not a huge person either, and it flexes when I'm in there. And last is our bedroom. Um, so Curtis come on in this way and um, so one of the things we really liked about the 250 RDS is the space between yeah. the end of the bed and the wall. There's actually room and if we turn and film in this area. Unfortunately we live with dogs and so the space <laughs> is taken up with dishes and dog food and the rest of it but for we seldom, normal. seldom use that door. That's right. For normal people, there's room to get changed in this area, which I think is really important um, to actually have the room to come in and use your bedroom. It's not it's not squishy, which is really quite nice. Uh, we did a few modifications in here. Originally, this wardrobe slide had three doors, uh, and although it was wide open and behind it, it had wood posts, of course, where the doors hung it was impossible to put clothes in and it was such a waste of space. And I don't know how many times I bashed my elbows and scraped up my hands and everything to put clothes in there. And at first I put in wire shelves. I didn't like that. 
And then I just spoke to Curtis about um, taking it all out and just making it wide open with shelves and putting baskets in it. And I know some people would never like that because they would think, oh, you know, and then everything is exposed. For us, it works. We each have six baskets, all of our clothes fit in there and it's neat and tidy and organized. And I much prefer that. And it also sets a limit that if your clothes can't fit in there, get rid of it. Clutter is just your enemy and clutter makes your home stressful and living in an RV and having clutter, it makes both of us a little bit grumpy to put it nicely. Right now we're fairly full. So basically if you bring something in, something pretty much has to go out. That's right. Uh, this used to have a door, a solid middle part and then a door same thing really wasn't very useful and it had it was really hard to access in behind so i had curtis take off the doors and the post and we just put baskets up there uh, we kind of changed things around this used to be his and her closet and then instead i took all of our hanging clothes because we don't have a lot of hanging clothes anymore that's also part of it as well is if it needs ironing don't buy it if it needs, if it can't be folded and put away, really question whether you buy it. Um, so these are our hanging clothes. Both Curtis and I fit in the same closet now. This is, I guess, what's supposed to be the coat closet. And then miscellaneous shoes underneath. Uh, Curtis replaced the hinges with these magnetic ones, which I just love because your clothes don't get pinched or ruined anymore. Latch thing. And they latch nice. Um, we'll see. We just did that, so we'll see how it does going down the road. Mm -hmm. We be did a trial. three now for a yeah. trial. So as long as they stay shut while we're traveling, it's all good. And we kept the other pieces just in case. <laughs> yes. So with moving our clothes there, I don't know about how your RV is. If you have an RV, laundry is just dirty clothes. Is like the hardest thing to find a spot for in your RV. You don't want it in the bathroom because it stinks, it's in the way. We've tried uh, different hampers here and over in that corner and you know, it's just always in the way. We also have two dogs in here, which is enough clutter underfoot, let alone having hampers taking up space. So with us changing everything that we did in here, that has allowed this closet to become our dirty clothes closet, which actually fits a week and a half of dirty clothes, which is pretty impressive. Um, I can fit eight loads of laundry in this closet, which I've done. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a knickknack person. I'm not an ornament person. I'm. It does look like ornaments. I know. I'm pretty minimalistic. However, um, I've had them for years, and so when we were downsizing and going to leave. I got rid of everything, but I couldn't part with these. These were special. So I went online and I was, I was reading about stuff and watching videos of people talking about how they secure stuff. And someone turned me on to this museum wax, which seems so strange. So this stuff, it's like, it's kind of like, like, mm. it's like wax putty. You take a little tiny ball, and I mean, we're talking a little ball, and you put it under the ornament, and then you put it onto the space, and you press it down. These things do not move. How do you get them off after? You don't. Hmm. If I want to remove these, I'm going to have to replace the balance. So <laughs> they're not something that, this isn't something that you use lightly, or you do use it lightly. But it's going to be permanent. It is permanent. Like, so I think that pretty much covers our Blackstone 250 RDS titanium series from Outdoors RV. Overall, Curtis, how do you feel about our RV? I think for a travel trailer, it's very good. But there's some things that I'm still very disappointed that it is. It is no DRV in the fifth wheel world of things, but those are... A very high-end built fifth wheel yeah. much much different for a travel trailer i still think they are one of the best if not the best you no know, i i i've said it so many times i don't think it matters what you buy there's going to be things that you love things that you hate things that you're going to be so impressed with and things you're going to be so disappointed with and i think that's just part of owning an rv 
whether you're buying it for camping or whether you're buying it to live in. I think, I don't think there's such thing as a perfect RV and I don't think any manufacturer makes an RV perfectly. No, fair enough. But there are like Lux or New Horizon that'll make you a custom RV. And the only limitation you probably have is your budget. Yeah, our wallet says no. Yeah. Mm -hmm.